Shalom family. So the favorite attack we're experiencing right now amongst believers and believers that are awake to the times is no one knows the hour of the day. No one knows that. Not even Jesus. You should stop looking. It's wrong to look. You should just live your life. Who cares? He'll come when he comes and when he's ready. Stop looking. You guys shouldn't guess dates and you get hammered. No matter where, if I go into any Christian forum, if anyone says anything exciting or encouraging like Watch out for the solar eclipse. Watch out for this. Watch out for that. These amazing things are coming now. Check these dates immediately in the top three comments. No one knows the day or hour. Stop looking. You people make me so tired. You've been wrong how many times? Really? Let me just take you to Matthew chapter 24. And I want to break this down for you. Go grab your Bibles and study this. Spend time in it. Matthew 24 he departs from the temple with his disciples. He goes up and he's sitting on the Mount of Olives. He's sitting where he will return and come back with us in the end, at the end of the tribulation. That's where he's sitting, on the Mount of Olives. They come and they ask him, what will these things be, the sign? When? What will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? And we've touched on this. He then proceeds to start giving them clues. Then from verse 15 to about 28, he talks about the Great Tribulation and everything that's going to happen there. From verse 29 to about 31, he's talking about the coming of the Son of Man and the signs with that and what it will look like. Verse 32 is the famous one that we all refer to. Learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see all these things know that it is near at the doors. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. Now, you won't know that if you're not watching and looking. There are unbelievably still Christians that don't realize the fig tree is associated with Israel and that the birth of Israel, 14th of May, 1948, kicked off the prophecy clock and got it running for the final generation, Ha'akaron, the last generation. Then from verse 36, that famous little objection every single Christian out there that's not excited throws at us. But of that day and hour... No one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Right? Very next verse. As in, he is still speaking. But, as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Why are you giving me a heads up? Why are you giving me a clue if I'm not supposed to be watching or worried about this? For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking. Marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came and took them all away. So also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Then two men will be in the field. One will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and the other left. Watch therefore. Verse 42. It's a command. Watch therefore. For you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, you also be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Watch, look, study, understand. Be ready. Verse 45 to 51, the faithful servant and the evil servant. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his master made ruler over his household to give them food in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Assuredly, I say to you that he will make him ruler over all his goods. But if that evil servant says in his heart, my master is delaying his coming. We hear this all the time. And begins to beat his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunkards. The way that 
fake church is just allowing the world in and sharing with them and accepting them and doing that whole thing. The master of that servant will come on a day when he is not looking for him and at an hour that he is not aware of. And he will cut him in two and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Watch. Be ready. Listen to the signs Jesus lays out. Look. Learn. Let the Holy Spirit reveal more and more the closer we get. And be excited about his appearing. And he's coming to fetch us and take us away with him. That is our mandate. And to share the gospel with all nations and make disciples. At the same time, we are watching, excited, searching the scriptures, learning, growing, drawing closer to him all the time. Go and sit with your Bible and read through Matthew chapter 24, beginning to end. And just grasp all the warnings, all the signs, everything that he lays out. Why would he do that? If he does not want you to watch and be caught unaware because you're not watching. Maranatha.